Welcome to Gen GST video portal. In this video, we will be showing you how to file GSTR1 through our desktop version software. First of all, what you need to do is go to GST return. When you will go to GST return, you have to select GSTR1. Then you will see the client list over here. Then select your client, select the year, select the month for which you want to file your return and then proceed further. First of all, what you need to do is you have to create the receiver details for the, your client. Let's go in receiver details. How to add the receivers? You have to click on add button and you have to enter the information related to the receivers over here. There are two options available for you. Import. You can import from masters, year, client or seller. Next option is you can create a new receiver directly from here. Now there are two options, short or description. If you just want to write sh in short, then you can select short. Then what all you need to fill is the receiver name. If the GSTN number is available, then you need to write that. Then select your country, state and city. Enter your mobile number and email address. The next step what is important is that you need to select the goods and services in which the receiver is dealing. Then you can save the information from here. We have also given the option to import from site. You just need to enter the GSTN number and click on import from site. You will be needed to enter the GSTN number and password over there to import it from the site. Now when you will generate your receiver list, then it will be available on your dashboard of receivers. You can also see that we have given the option of update name and merge duplicate. We will discuss it afterwards. Now let's see how to fill the GSTR1 form from our software. You have to go to fill forms. That is the first thing what you can do through our software. First tab is all invoices, then B2B, B2C large, etc. In all invoices tab, you will see that all the invoices generated in the software of GSTR1 will be populated over here. To enter the invoice related to B2B, that is business to business, means both the parties are having GSTN number, then you have to click on add button. When you will click on add, you will see that receiver name is being populated over here what you have created in receivers. Now select your receiver from here. GSTN number will be auto populated. Then you need to enter your invoice number over here. Then invoice date will be auto populated as the current date. Now as I am preparing for July month, I will enter the date of July over here. After entering the this information, then you have to enter the invoice value. The taxable value, the rate will be auto calculated accordingly. If it is an interest rate transaction, it will be IGST amount. And if it is an interest rate transaction, then it will be CGST or SGST amount. After entering all over information, you can click on save button. We have also provided the multi mode facility to you. To use the multi mode facility, click on multiple. Then you can enter your taxable amount, select your rate from the drop down menu, says rate if it's applicable and proceed further. Now we will see next tab that is B2C large. In B2C large in the same manner as we have done our entries in B2B, just click on add button and enter your entry. Select your receiver name, invoice number, invoice date and value. The next is B2C small. In B2C small, we have given two bifurcations over here. As you can see, first is the bill wise summary of all the bills. And the next option is bill wise. If you maintain your data for your customers invoice wise, then you have to enter your data in bill wise. And if you just want to maintain it in a summary form that is state form, then you have to enter your information in detailed form. Click on bill wise information to create your entries bill wise. 
as you can see we have created a bill for b2c small we have entered the invoice number invoice date your taxable values your rates and etc amount will be auto populated click on exit button to get the summary form if you want to enter the summary details what you need to do is just select your state from here supply type will be auto populated if it's an ecom transaction select yes and enter the gstn number then you need to enter the taxable amount and rest will be auto calculated on the basis of the rate if you enter your entry in bill wise the next option what you need to do is click on import detailed then all the information entered in bill wise will be auto populated in the b2c summary next is credit and debit note registered in this credit and debit note registered you have to add the entries of those people who are having the gstn number and you are creating a credit or debit note for them select your receiver pos credit and debit note number note date note type which can be credit debit or refund then you need to select the reason of note reason of note can be various reasons like sales return post sale discount deficiency in services etc please remember that the invoice number what you are entering over here is in existence in the database we have also given you the search facility for the invoices which have been created through our software you need to click on search bar and now you can see all the invoices which have been created are populated over here you can select any of the invoices from here and the details of these invoices will be auto populated in credit and debit note over now we'll proceed to credit and debit note for the unregistered people in the same manner as we have entered for registered parties we can also do the same for credit and debit note for unregistered parties the next is export if you are having any export entries click on add button and add your details of export invoice number invoice date shipping number and shipping date are not mandatory as of now select gst payment that is with payment or without payment in case of without payment the tax will not be applicable then select your port number enter your taxable value select your rate and proceed further next is advance receipt if you are having any advance receipts created then enter the information over here as we have seen in b2c small we had two options to create in the same manner we are having two options over here also one is entry mode and the another one is invoice wise you can select your state amount what you have received in advance select your rate and the rest amount will be auto calculated then let's go to hsn summary in the hsn summary what you need to do is select the category that is that can be goods or services then you will need to select your description then you can have to write your hsn or sac code then the quantity uqc amount taxable amount and the tax amount we have also given the options of entering two or four digit hsn code which we will discuss later if you are having eight digit code then you have to enter over here if you want to enter two or four digit we will discuss it later on next is docs in documents you need to enter the serial number from and to total numbers if any invoice has been cancelled enter the same and net issued and save your details this was the manual entry if you are doing it from the software now we have also given the import facility in our software now let's see what are the import options available first option is import from billing now we are having a billing section in our software if you want to import your invoices from the billing section then you can click on import from billing and the invoices will automatically be segregated accordingly and will be populated over here the next option is through our excel we have given three options over here from sag excel from government excel from tele excel and one more is there that is from busy excel so 
if you want to create from seg excel first of all you need to generate the blank format of the excel click on generate blank seg excel or government excel it will be saved on your desktop or your area then what you need to do is you have to insert the information in the excel i will just show you an excel which has been generated in my case first of all this is the government excel then let's go to b2b section how to enter information over here first of all you need to enter your invoice number this is the case of b2b then first of all you will enter the gstn number then the invoice number the invoice date if you are creating for july month it will be the date of july if you are creating for august it can be of july and august both then enter the invoice value place of supply if reverse charge is applicable yes or no invoice type the rate and taxable value in this manner you can enter your values related to b2b in the same manner for b2c in case of b2cs that is for small you have to select the place of supply rate and taxable value when you will enter all the information save your excel and then let's see in the software how to import it click on excel then import from government excel now when i will click on import you will see that excel import template has been given over here now i will browse my path and select my excel now click on get data now you will see that your data will be in running process you can see that all your data has been imported over here if there are any wrong entries then it will be highlighted to you over here and you can make the changes here itself without doing any change in the excel format if you want to import the same then click on import button here are a function that is show legends if your entry is from government excel then it will be shown in gray color and you can see other colors for various other entries now click on import button to import your entry now there is an option for importing data delete all existing invoices and then you want to import your invoices or you want to import only non existing invoices or you want to import the override the existing invoices now suppose i want to import only the non existing invoices then i will click on import button and all my data entries will be imported you can see that the import is complete now you can see that all the entries have been populated over here from my excel in this manner you can import your entries from excel now the next option what i want to show you is import and export from import from tally next what you can do is the gstr1 summary in gstr1 summary we have provided you the details software wise portal wise and if there are any differences you can see the same if you will see b2b over here the entries entered in the software are this from portal is nothing as we have not get the data from the portal right now and you can see the difference over here you can also see the summary gstn wise all the gstn numbers of the receivers will be populated over here and the summary can be seen or you can also see the summary state wise also the next option is sms if you want to create any sms then you can select your message from here and send your messages 
and the same functionality is available for email also. Then let's go to the main section that is the e-filing section. Now you can see that all the invoices which have been created are being seen over here. Total invoices, total invoices uploaded, invoices to be uploaded. Now what I need to do is, I have to create the JSON file. Click on generate button and you will see that the JSON file will be created on your saved application. Now click on save button to save your JSON file. You can see that validation is succeeded and no errors have been found. I will show you the case where there are errors. If there are any errors in your report, then you need to click on view error report. Then you have to select your zip file which will be created if there are any errors. Now I will select my error file from here. Click on show button. Now you can see there are two errors in B2B section and the invoice number has also been mentioned that the GSTN number is invalid and I have to enter a valid GSTN number. I will go to the specific entry and I will make the specific changes there. Like the next option is validation of GSTN number POS and enter or intrastate. Now I need to select my JSON file from here which I created just now. I will select my JSON file and click on submit button. Now you need to enter your username and the password. When you will enter your username and password over here, then all your entries will be verified from the portal. You can enter any username or password of GST. With this single username, you will be able to get all the data. The capture facility has been disabled for now. When it will be available, you just click on process and you will see that all the GSTN numbers will be verified and the name will be available over here. In the same manner, you can check the POS and the inter or intrastate transactions. Okay, the next option is if you want to export the data in government offline utility, you can check the same. Now click on upload return to upload your return. Then you need to enter the previous year financial turnover and turnover. It has been disabled for August month at, as it was needed in for the July month only. Now you need to enter your username and password over here and your JSON file will be auto selected and click on login button to proceed further. Now you will see that all your data will be auto populated in the online government utility. You just have to log in from there and you will be able to see all your data on the online portal of GST department. You just need to watch it out and submit with your DSC or EVC facility as per your client. Thank you so much.